I got this month's four key comics that I'm about to send out to get graded. Want to know what they are and what grades I predict? Well, you'll just have to stick around and we'll find out together. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Greetings and salutations, my fellow comic book collaborators. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I have my four key comics that I am about to be sending to PGX to uh, get graded. And I have a deal that I've made with PGX that will actually benefit you as well. Because if you are a subscriber to my channel... If you send in 10 books to get graded by PGX using the code We Love Comics Free Press, you will get one comic pressed for free. So that's every 10. So if you send in 20, you get two of them free. Well, as far as the pressings are concerned. Uh, also, I was able to convince PGX to be the only grading company that allows graders' notes to be placed on the back of the slabs. It is a $5 charge. And you can use the code We Love Comics Greatest Notes, and uh, it's a great thing in my opinion. So, I have my four books that I will be sending in. I'm allowed to do four of them every month, and um, I'll tell you the prices, of course. I will also tell you my predictions of what I think the grades will be, and I've also included now the page colors of the comics. So, let's get into this little show. Speaking of show, this is Showcase issue number 30, which is the Silver Age tryout of Aquaman. So this is technically his first appearance in the Silver Age. Um, this is a definite key book. Looking forward to the Aquaman movie. I am so hoping that DC does this justice, but we will find out. Colors look pretty good in this book. I paid a grand total of only $150 for this book. I'm going to say it's going to be about a 3.0 to a 4.0 range. Might be a little higher than that because the person that sold it to me said they predicted it to be about a 5. I don't know if it'll reach that high, um, but we'll find out. So I'm predicting about a 3.0 to a 4.0. It's got creamed off-white pages. Definitely a book if you haven't gotten this book. One to definitely add to your collection. I have a couple of these, but I wanted to get one of these graded. I wanted to try and do you know, a couple of books that we haven't seen before. One you will have seen as far as grading is concerned, but this is X-Men 94. This is when the new X-Men take over the series. Uh, from 93 down to around the, I think, the early 40s, it was all reprints. And was basically going under until they made the giant size X-Men number one. So this is where they actually start the new series. And I love these characters. Uh, you've got Wolverine. You've got Colossus. You've got Storm. You've got Nightcrawler. I mean, if you watch any of the X-Men 90s cartoons, you pretty much know all of those characters. So definitely a book to get if you can acquire it. Uh, this was one of the books that got stolen from me years ago. The one I had, I learned the hard way about making sure you take tape off of the comic if you're going to, well, off the bag if you're going to take out the book. Because when I was a kid, this particular area got stuck with tape and the color ripped off. But since somebody stole it, that's their problem now and not mine. Uh, this book I paid a total of $139.50 for. Um, it's got white pages. Very happy about that. Inside looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's missing a tiny little bit here. Looks like maybe a bug got to it at some point and nibbled it a little bit. Uh, there's some color breaks along the top, but not a lot. There are very few spine ticks that break color. Pressing will help this, and as you can see, the colors absolutely pop. I'm going to predict a 5.0 to a 6.0 for this book. Definitely one to acquire, especially before Marvel gets their first X-Men in a Marvel movie. All right, this is one. That I've already gotten graded. Not this one, of course. But this is another one. This is the most... Exp I have three of this book. Two of them I paid under $100. This is the most expensive I paid for one of these books. Of course, this is Fantastic Four number 52. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Black Panther. I got this one earlier this year. 
paid a grand total of one hundred and sixty five dollars for this book. Uh, inside of this book, again, for I mean, especially for a Silver Age book, looks beautiful on the inside. It has white pages. I'm predicting about a 4.5 to a 5.5. A lot of the problems on this book, especially on the back, can be pressed out because there are a couple of creases, but they do not break color. Uh, there are a couple of color breaks along the spine. I mean, that's to be expected on an older book like this. There's a couple of stress lines here that break color. But as you can see, the cover presents well. The colors are really amazing. So this is about a mid, a little bit lower than mid-grade. Um, looking forward to having this one graded, especially for that price. I mean, this could come back as 0.5, and I'll make out on that one. So a lot of times it's the prices that you pay. And last but not least, we have Justice League of America, issue number one. This is my second copy of this book. Um, I did purchase one graded already. I think it's a CBCS 2.0 with a detached cover. Now this one, I'm not sure if it's um, a, a detached cover or not, because somebody um, put tape not only on the outside, but on the inside of the cover. So it is holding it together. So I don't know if that's basically reinforcing the staples or it's replacing them. So I'm not sure how they would grade this book because I don't want to open it wide enough to try and see because the tape, especially on the inside, is a darker type of, type of tape. So I'm not really sure if the staples are still there or not. Uh, the pages are barely hanging on, but they are hanging on. So I just don't want to take the chance of ripping them. So I'll let the graders take a look at that. I put a little note. Um, well, I will put a little note on the back to be careful about these. But because of the tape and everything, um, I'm going to say this is roughly about a 2.5 to a 3.5. I paid a total of $276.25 for this book. Again, this would come. This could come back a 0.5, and I would do quite well. I'm sure it will be much higher than a 2.5. Uh, it does have off-white to white pages, so again, the inside looks pretty darn good. Cover overall presents well. You can see there's a couple of stress lines that do break color. Same thing here. Again, like I said, it does have the tape. But again, to me, as long as the cover presents well and the colors stand out, um, I'm pretty happy with these. So those are the four books. So we have Justice League of America, issue number one. I'm predicting a 2.5 to a 3.5 with off-white to white pages. Fantastic Four, issue number 52. First Black Panther, I'm predicting about a 4.5 to a 5.5 with white pages. X-Men 94, which is the beginning of the new X-Men starting in the series. I'm predicting about a 5.0 to a 6.0 with white pages, and showcase number 30, I'm going to be predicting about a 3.0 to a 4.0 cream to off-white pages. So, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber, and you can ask for one, because I will write your name down. And uh, make sure, if you wait this long, please make sure you wait until the end to see it, and if you see the subscriber shout-out, Give them a little nod in the comment section because I guarantee you they appreciate those type of things. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I can't wait for my other group of comics to be coming back. Uh, they should probably be coming back in the next week and a half, two weeks. Uh, by the time you see this video, this these books will already be on their way. And it usually takes about a month to about a month and a half. And they said that's going to be speeding up again soon because they got all that Comic-Kind stuff out of the way with all the extra books. That happens. There's going to be little delays, but um, I'm not waiting three or four months, so I'm very happy with that. So thanks for watching, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics, and it's always good to see Aquaman riding a dolphin. I have no idea what that means, but hey, sometimes you can't always come up with the best ideas. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to connect with me on Facebook, you can click right here. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you could click right here. If you'd like to get 2% cash back on your comic book purchases off of eBay, you can click here. If you want to hit subscribe and join the channel, we'd love for you to click here. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out. Enjoy!